Yo, 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 good people, it's your homie, hey, man, busting you back upside the head with another hot banger boogie. Go tell somebody to go tell somebody your homie, Herb man, is on, all right? So look, everybody's always asking me, yo, Herb man, how do you cook these herbs? It is very important to know how to prepare your herbs, okay? Whether you're doing infusions, whether you're doing decoctions, tinctures, whether you're making poultices, all these types of things are going to be very important and very valuable to the potency and the therapeutic value of the herbs that you're buying. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people are telling you about herbs, but they're not telling you how to cook them properly. Even if they do have the herbs, even if they do tell you how to cook them, sometimes it's not prepared properly. And so it's not giving you the potency, the therapeutic value, all right, that really can come out of having these herbs. So amongst all of this information that's being spewed out on the internet and on social media and all the stuff that you read, it really boils down to how to boil or uh, a steep or how to allow for a root or bark or leaves to sit. And that is the lost art. That is what's not being taught to you guys. And so therefore you can boil a herb that shouldn't be boiled. And therefore the therapeutic value doesn't persist. Or you can steep an herb that should be boiled. And therefore you don't get out of it the therapeutic value that you are looking for. And you would deem that herb to be no good. But it's not that the herb is no value. It's that the way that you're preparing it is not... Uh, pulling out the therapeutic value and the constituents that is needed to actually help the issue that you bought it for, okay? So how to cook these herbs are going to be very important to you guys moving forward. There's a lot of information that's out here that we can teach you how to do it. But again, you really want to get with people who have tried and true um, uh, concoctions and decoctions and infusions that really work and that stood the test of time. So that means you're going to have to go back in the history to really learn um, these ancient ways of how to prepare these herbs. I wouldn't normally look to the new age information. I wouldn't look to the allopathic community to teach you. And I definitely want to look to the homeopathic or nothing like that. You're going to have to go back in the past to where these things were actually being given out and you're going to have to cook them that way. Now, information has changed, but if the herb stays the same, then cooking it should be the same, you guys. I love you guys, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Go tell somebody to go tell somebody about your homie Herb Man. And until next time, love Herb Man.